Oh, hey guys. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to do something a bit different. I'm gonna merge my passion for painting and fitness. You may find yourself locked away at home in your room, in your studio, and you may be giving up on your plans to get in good shape for summer. Perhaps you're going online trying to buy a whole load of exercise equipment. But before you do that, stop, because I am gonna show you some really great exercises that you can do right in your studio or in your room at home, just with some art materials or things you have lying around in the house. I'm gonna show you how to work out with your paints, how to work out with your palette, and even how to work out with your paintbrushes. Actually, I'm still kind of working on that one, but the other two I will show you how to do. If you want to leave this quarantine period, not just with some really great paintings, but also looking like you just stepped out of a painting by Frank Fazetta, then let's get into this video. If any of you have ever been plain air painting or you've had to carry your paints around, you probably know they're pretty heavy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to load up a rucksack with as many paints as we can fit in there. Depending on how strong you're feeling, if you're feeling strong, uh, just really fill it up. Throw all your paints in there. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do, with my bag of paints, we're going to do some squats. So get your bag on your back. Now, if you aren't used to doing squats, you can do it without the bag. And then you're going to squat. Right, so, okay, you want to get really low, try and go below power level if you can. I normally do 20 squats and then followed by 10 jumping squats. Also make sure your rucksack is tightly fitted so it doesn't bounce up and down when you do the jumping squats. For the next exercise, all we need is a chair. So you should have a chair in your studio. And with this, we can do a variation on tricep dips using the chair. So I've got my feet out in front of me, hands holding the chair, and I'm just gonna lower myself down nice and slowly and then push myself back up. Okay, lower yourself down and push yourself up. You know, it's important to lower yourself down slowly so you don't pull any muscles. From here, you can just do this up and down. Now for the next exercise, all you're gonna need is your palette. The great thing about your palette is it's nice and smooth. Um, so this is going to work perfectly for this exercise. If you don't have a palette, I have seen this done with plates before, like um, kind of cardboard, plasticky, throwaway plates, and you can slide them along the floor. I'm going to show you how this is done. This one's a really good chest workout, having to slide your palette in and out and push up and down with your arm in slightly different positions. This adds that little bit more tension to the pectoral muscles. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do from here is gonna do an incline push-up. So we rest our feet on the chair, keep our back nice and straight, and lower ourselves down. As low as you can go, and just push yourself back up. If you find this exercise too difficult, you can just do a normal press up, or you can do a press up with your knees resting on the ground. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do some abs. So you wanna get your abs nice and solid. And this exercise is gonna do exactly that. Okay, so for this exercise, we're gonna be just sitting on the ground like this. You can place your hands on the ground if you want. And we're just gonna straighten our legs out and then bring them in. Okay, so it might be nice um, if you've got a cushion or a pillow or something, my floor is kind of hard, so I'm just going to put this under here. I'm just going to push our legs out straight and then bring them in like this. Now, if you can, try and let your hands, try and do it hands free like this, okay? This will use more core. Like that, just straighten your legs out and sit back in. Okay, this is a really good exercise to do, really engages all the core muscles. Like so. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do is a little more advanced. Um, if you can do this, it's worth giving it a go because it's a good exercise for your shoulders.
So we're going to finish with one exercise which is a bit more cardio based. It's one I enjoy doing because I've grown up doing a lot of martial arts, competing in MMA and kickboxing. Um, so this is something that we do a lot in martial arts class. It may seem a bit strange, but let me show you what it is. What we're going to do, we're going to do shadow boxing. So um, basically grab your favorite color and let's add some, uh, let's pack some paint to those punches. Okay, so just imagine perhaps that person who made a snide comment about your painting, perhaps the model who didn't sit still, and you're literally just gonna punch the air, but imagine that it's someone in front of you. Put a timer on for, let's say a minute. If you're more accustomed with this sort of workout, put on for say three minutes. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw punches out in front of us, keeping our hands up. And we can move around as well, okay? So you, the good thing about these paints is that they're, they're light, but they add a little bit of weight. And so um, this, it just makes it that little bit harder. And from here, we can then move around, slip, defend, imagine someone's punching back at us. And you can just do this for quite a while, but maybe put a time on for a minute. Um, you may look a little crazy if there's other people around, but this is a really good exercise. So once you finish your round of shadow boxing, uh, get a drink of water, have a 30 second rest, and then you can do it all again. Depending on your fitness ability, try and do a few rounds of all the exercises. And then once you've done that, you can have a shower and then get back to painting. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found that interesting and fun. Perhaps you learned a few more exercises um, a few more ways of getting in shape and I hope this gave you a little bit of motivation just to um, to keep training even though we are stuck indoors and it can be a bit of a, a depressing time with this whole world pandemic. I find exercising helps me feel good, helps me my mind as well as my body and I hope I'm not responsible for anybody punching or damaging any of the art equipment in their studio. Um, also please remember to stretch out once you finish the exercising as well. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like, share it with your friends. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Hopefully everyone can um, stay safe and well and when this quarantine period is over. Um, everyone who's watched this video will come out onto the beaches. And so please do stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.